Today you're going to add some color to your drawn perspective landscape. So I'm using markers. If you don't have markers, you could use colored pencils or crayons. So in my tulip field, I am just going to fill it in with some different colors for my flowers. So I'm using some greens, reds, yellow, oranges. It's totally up to you. Um, and you can make that decision because you are the artist and you can make your final piece to look the way that you would like. So if you want to look up a picture and model it after that or just create one in your own imagination. Um, I'm finding that if you outline the outer shape first and then fill it in, it's a little easier to make sure that you um, keep your color within the lines. Again, you can use a different material other than marker or you can use multiple materials. After I finish my ground, I'm going to add some color into the background and I'm going to draw my hills in with a lighter green because as you move further into space, the colors actually get lighter or appear to be lighter. And I just drew that green hill on top of my houses because I'm going to draw a silhouette that will cover up over on top of that green. Now I'm coming in and adding my sky. I'm just doing a blue color, but I outlined my clouds first. You can um, create a sunset or use multiple colors. It's up to you. Um, you could fill the clouds with patterns or contrast them with a different material um, that would help make it stand out. Now I'm coming in with a fine black marker and I'm going over my houses, my trees, my silhouettes that have little detail because they are far away. Um, and then I'm adding some windmills too and I'm doing them on different levels. So as they get further away, they're gonna be higher on the page. So the ones that are furthest away are gonna be higher on that mountain um, than my houses. And that will create the illusion that things are going back in space. Next, I'm gonna add some detail in my field. I'm going to fill them with different patterns, but if you wanna do one pattern, you could, or if you wanna leave them plain, that's fine too. So again, I'm applying some concepts of space. Objects um, closer will have more detail and be larger. Objects further away will be smaller and have smaller details and less details objects further away will also be lighter in value. So I'm coming in and adding some texture in the grass with different values of the same color. I'm drawing some lines that are following those that point of perspective that we've talked about. Um, I've done dots and as you can see they're getting smaller as they get further away. And wavy lines, it's totally up to you. If you want to just keep it the plain color, you can do that as well. But these are some options that you can use to apply to your own drawing or you can apply um, your own creativity and ideas to your piece. I can't wait to see your results. Um, please send them my way and I look forward to seeing them.